Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Data Logic with Shivam. In this video, the question which I will about to discuss is usually, is usually asked by an interviewer when you give interview for supply chain domain. This is a real life scenario and believe me, I have implemented same kind of solution in one of my supply chain project where I had almost same requirement. So before moving forward, if you are new to DEX or want to learn how to create powerful calculation in Power BI, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new videos. It will give me some motivation to provide such content. So let's move ahead. First we will go to table. So now if you can see here, this is a scorecard of supplier where supplier having the score like on time delivery rate order fulfillment rate and customer satisfaction score. Let's first discuss how this on time delivery rate calculated. So it is the formula is number of on time deliveries of a supplier divided by total number of deliveries by a supplier and multiply by 100. Similarly, the order fulfillment rate, it, the formula will be number of order fulfilled by a supplier and total number of orders of that suppliers divide we will divide that and then multiply by 100 and for this customer satisfaction score how it is derived is it is typically measured on, on a scale for example 1 to 5 or 1 to 10 and uh, how scores are interpreted so ex for example higher score indicate higher satisfaction so now let's move to the question so question is to create a ranking based solution that calculate the ranking based on below factors using rank X in Power BI. So what are the factors for on time delivery rate supplier with higher percent of on time delivery should be ranked higher for order fulfillment rate supplier with higher percentage of order fulfillment should be ranked higher and for customer satisfaction score supplier with higher customer satisfaction score should be ranked together uh, so, sorry higher so there are there is there is some criteria also so business has assigned weights to each criteria based on their importance in the ranking so on time delivery rate have 40% weightage order fulfillment rate had 30% weightage and customer satisfaction score have 30% weightage how can we approach this solution what we can do, we can plus all the score and whichever number is higher, we will assign the rank. But let we also have weights. So what we can do with the weights, we can multiply the weights, weights of respective KPI and then sum all sum of all the KPIs. Let's check how we can do it. I'll create one new measure. I will name as supplier total. Now first I will create the first variable as sum of on time. Here I will do sum of on time delivery rate. Then similarly I will create variable for order fulfillment order f sum of order fulfillment rate then I'll create one more variable is for sum of customer satisfaction satisfaction sum of supplier customer satisfaction Now what we will do, I will create one more variable for result which I will return. Now here what I will do, I will multiply each weightage with the with their respective variables like 40% so I will use instead of 40% I will use 0 0.4 multiply by sum of on time 
then I will add this one with the other KPIs like 0 0.3 multiply by sum of order fulfillment plus 0 0.3 multiply by sum of customer satisfaction now I will return this result I'll hit enter so now we have the result of each supplier we will assign the rank according to the result of a supplier let's check how we can do that so I'll create one more measure I will name it as supplier rank I will use rank x function and first I will give all and then I'll give co column name supplier name then I will use the text which we have created then no value then order is will be descending and then I'll use tense instead of skip hit enter so now we have the ranking according to the supplier so let's visualize in to table I'll put the supplier name first here and then I'll put the supplier rank I'll let me first increase the font size so that it will be visible clearly yeah, that's I hope you find this video helpful don't forget to like and share this video with your colleagues and friends and leave a comment if you have any question or suggestion for future videos thanks for watching and I'll see you in next one